Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to baseball right here on youtube.com slash Seanosaurus Rex. My name is Sean. We are looking to sweep the Oakland Athletics here in Oakland. Joey Wentz on the mound today, 7-2 and with a 3.96 ERA. Taking on Paul Blackburn, 4-15 and with a 4.94 ERA. Uh, if you'd like to see more baseball, be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post new videos every day right here on the channel. Check out this morning's video, whatever the hell that was, and then uh, check out uh, more baseball. Uh, we'll be back on Friday in Texas for the last three games of our season on the road, and then we'll be back home for the final seven, four of those against Texas, three, the other three against uh the Houston Astros. So I'm guessing by about game three, I'm going to be real tired of seeing the Texas Rangers and absolutely dreading the fact that I have to go see them again <laughs> or get to see them again at home, I guess. But uh, yeah, we are 120 and 31. That is not a joke. Somehow we have done that. I, I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how this happened. It is wild to be that far over 500 to be to genuinely like if we win out, to be 131 and 31 is an absurd thought. I don't think we will. I think we'll break 125 wins, but I don't think we'll get quite to 130 because that's gonna be that's gonna require a lot of winning against Texas, which is a team, especially in Texas, that gives me trouble. And Houston isn't uh, isn't a team that should be taken lightly. My biggest concern now is uh, the inconsistency from the offensive perspective and the. I guess it's like kind of, it simultaneously feels like minor inconsistency in the defensive side or the pitching location, but like when it's bad, it's really bad. It's minor, but big, you know, like it, it's, it's odd. Uh, we are the number one seed going into the AL. So that is, uh, that is good. You're going into the postseason in the American league. It's a tight race between the Rays, Astros, Yankees are a little bit clearer, uh, but they play a lot of the um, Toronto Blue Jays over the next week or so. So I think that's going to be interesting in how that kind of shakes that up. They could be fine now, but if the Rays can gain a little bit of ground and if the Yankees can't beat the Blue Jays, that could get that could get tight. I mean, I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's likely, but I think it is possible possible that the Yankees maybe could even get knocked out. Maybe the White Sox make a run. I don't know. It's going to be uh, going to be interesting here on the American League side of things, which is where I tend to focus because that's what side uh, we play on. In the National League, the East is tight. A one game separates the Mets from the Braves. Interesting. Uh, the Brewers lead the Cardinals by three, and the Cubs by four, and the Dodgers haven't surprisingly have not wrapped up the division just yet, but... Uh, they are uh, they're looking at they're three and seven in their last ten, and that that's not good. Cubs are a game out of the wild card. Philly's going to need a lot of help, but they might have an outside shot. It'll kind of depend on some of those matchups and how those uh, how those go. All right, I hope I hope I gave you my whole spiel. New videos every day. The Mariners play once we get back on Friday. You'll have Major League Baseball through the end of September and the first day of October, and then I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen then because I don't know what the schedule is exactly. There might be a day or two off. Um, tomorrow night, we'll be taking a look at the TGS Tokyo Game Show, not the girly show starring Tracy Jordan. Uh, but we'll be taking a look at the TGS Xbox conference and see what's going on there. Could rest some guys, but I'm not going to. I'm just absolutely not going to. I want Mateo up here. I want him in left. Dylan Moore's homeward in back-to-back -back games. But I want Crawford in the lineup. And I want... Because I'm going to guess my DH yeah, is a catcher for some reason. Oh, is it, well, no, because it's a right-handed hitter. Sam Haggerty doesn't bat well. Never mind. You could stay in the lineup. Uh, oh, you know who I would rather have, actually? Where's, where's Trammell? Give me Trammell. We'll flip those two just so it's a little, little more. We'll flip them. We'll have double lefties. Suarez kind of feels like he's maybe like a little out of place. We'll work with that. Everybody should be fresh and ready and rested. I think that's part of it, too, where I look at it and I go, like, I don't think we're going to get to 130 wins, you know? 
we're, we need, we're going to need to rest, guys. We're going to need to tweak around the lineup a little bit. Encouraging signs from the first game in this series where we did get five runs with a bit of a... Live from I don't want to say like a wonky lineup, but we did have a lot of our regular featured stars, Rodriguez, France. Uh, they were out, and we still were able to drive across five runs. So we're batting 321, which is a little surprising. We got off to a bit of a slow start yesterday. Hopefully, we can avoid that today. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hopefully, you made it through the hump day all right. Looking for the sweep here. This would be our third kind of midweek sweep where we play a team that is not as formidable for us. It's been the weekend series that have given us trouble. Um, with some of the Blackburn. some of the ways that they uh, tried to make it the fifth last they haven't scheduled like we played New York and that was rough but then we played the Cincinnati loss. got a sweep then we played Tampa Bay and that was rough but then we played the Angels and then we played the Dodgers and that was rough and now we're playing the A's and that's going back it's, it's very weird the way the schedule is set up um, I think it might cost the actual Mariners a playoff spot because of it but they do kind of control their own destiny we won't worry about that too much right now, though. Sinker at 94, cutter at 89, 12-6 curve at 81, a circle change at 88, a four-seam fastball at 94. For Paul Blackburn, you saw his stats there. He went surprisingly uh, up in the zone. We've been seeing a lot of pitches low in the zone. I think it's just just not not anticipating well what the, what the pitcher wants to do. We're seeing an off-speed or a secondary pitch first. And there's a, a foul good, ball. good cut on that. Except for a good cut on that cutter. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> That's a negative 93 billion. <laughs> What's going on down there? In, in decreased 2020 wood. Ooh, late. So early on the cutter, late on the sinker. I would just hate to be a team that like have we have the like the most incredible off season in the world and then or regular season in the world then just like eliminated in the playoffs. On the ground to third. That and is, that's a fair ball. It's all right. It's all right. It's a little early. I think that was again on the cutter. Early on the cutter. Late on the sinker. The center field, and now it's Julio Rodriguez. We've been Ninth flirting with American dropping League out of the veteran out. hitting difficulty. And it's fouled away. Slow down. Slow down. Blackburn, an all-star a season ago. He features a sinker, a cutter, a curve. A changeup, and he works in a four seamer. Here's your one. That misses off the outside edge. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. The one one. And Ooh, we live with that cutter inside. In the strike zone. Strike number two. In the dirt. It's a good take and a good hold. Don't get too aggressive. An excellent job keeping it no right reason there. to. Mateo aboard here at first with nobody out. No reason to get too wild. The Ooh, got me there. with a cutter. I'm now so away. early on it. I don't think no, the speed difference is that great. Right there. I mean, just to keep that and I just, I just, the it's like five pass. miles an it's hour. It's not just the pitcher. Hmm. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position. JP to make Crawford a with a nice little outfielder. knock there. You're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. That's I get some of the hit. Those are some of the hits we've been looking for throughout this uh, so this month of September, which has been rocky and uneven that we just haven't been able to get. The little bloop shot by Crawford here. Mateo pulled it beautifully up the line, okay, third baseline. Good timing on the sinker. Night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. And the first that is pitch a real good one. take. One out, runners at first and second. And that one wrapped <laughs> foul. <laughs> Oh, really early well. on it. Damn it. it. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. And the righty deals. And Ooh, wow, swing. that was a really bad swing. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, makes sense. Circle change and the cutter. Sweet. Oh, man. Ah. Circle change and the cutter are right at the same speed, and I was early on him. I was way out of the zone. To third, Garcia. Zips it to first, and Hernandez is out. I thought I was looking much lower in the zone there. Got to settle down. Too excited. The hits were really solid. The bad at bats were really bad. Not, not what we're looking for Back here. here in the East Joey Bay. Wentz, six starts for the 7 and 2 record. A 3 9 Joey 6 ERA. 109 Wentz. innings pitched. 112 him. hits given up, yeah, a whip of 1 2 9. 98 time. strikeouts. Well 29 walks. The win, thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. Bottom of the first. And now Tyler Wade. You know, this is the kind of a tough baseman. matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Uh, Wentz is like the one pitcher I look at and I go, like, I got to get... I, it's okay to have a runner on with him to speed this process up a little bit and just Check stay in swing, a bit of a better rhythm. And it's two, two. Uh, two strikeouts away from 100 for him. Thought I turned that back off, but I did not. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Let's go, Oakland! Line Ooh, to Mateo! Mateo settles under it and wow. makes the catch. He didn't settle under that at all. Down. I didn't actually think he got that. I did not think I ran the correct the route to hitter, get that. Denzel Clark. You know, looked like it was a little, a little off. Oof. Hit hard, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. It's just so hard for me when I have to sit at the top of that and wait for this very slow wind up to drop. And it's a oh, Diaz. Diaz. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. First pitch. It, it wasn't much better, strike. even with a bit of an improved rhythm, Clark, but the base runner that's first right. with one out. Line drive caught. Oh. Nothing you can do about those okay. as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. So here's Brown at the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Wentz is kind of the guy you look at, and, like, you On just kind of go, like, third. do I... Do Tosses I want to use him first. in the playoffs? And that is that. One left for Oakland. Scoreless after one. I think more than likely we will have to use him. But if I could maybe skip him in the lineup a little bit, because we'll have a complete reset of the, All set for the, start of, the uh, of like bullpen energy and stuff like that, so I could make we'll sure that he sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment he doesn't start to like a 100. game five. Oh, that's a bad plan. Can a guy get now enough right rest? Ready to go. Still no score. Well, the division Here's series has stays off too. So game five with the well. Blind into right. And oh, wow. okay, that drop. That drop. So I, I the way he set start, up to that, I, I thought he was. Uh, they're gonna decrease their 2022 win total by 11, to or 11 by negative 93, right now, 2, 1, 2, 2, 9, 9, 6, 8. Okay, so and not quite a billion, 939 million wins. Just shy, no just a little, a little off. Grounded to oh, third, could be two. Again, I thought I was lower. I, it, on the first and Aguilar, it's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, hmm. just seeing the ball whipped yeah. around the diamond with quickness Whoa. and accuracy, that was nice. I like want to commit lower, hit. but every time I feel like I'm committing one way, they go the other. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. That was still technically, I guess, qualifying the low part of the zone. 
Righty to the plate. Got it started Ooh, a little boy. too early. Strike one. God damn. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that keeps the inning alive. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. Perfect, you perfect. It was a contact swing. Baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Here's Taylor Trammell. Pitch That's a great take right there. Cutter way up in the zone. And a ground ball to first, and foul ball. Really early on the sinker. Hmm. Next pitch is outside. That's fine. Even if that's a strike, which I don't really want to see in that spot, but even if that's a strike, it's not the worst thing in the world. And yeah, the right-hander deals. That one fouled off, two and two. Good job to just fight it away. And a pitch. Way outside. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Jorge Mateo waiting for a turn at the plate. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. I, I hit A. I hit A so hard. Oh, dude. He's one for one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, animations. Oh. They take the four oh, Dad, that's so... That is God high. damn it. I, I think keep thinking Mariners I'm lower. We'll go lower the in the, the zone. No score. Four hits and no runs. We had the same problem yesterday. Slow starts have been an issue here in Oakland. The and the, the worst part for us is that we have to face Aguilar here, Aguilar. who has been a consistent thorn in my side through this series. Way too aggressive there with Jorge Mateo. I feel like I see what he's wanting to do. The problem is we're super early on everything he's throwing. We're early on his fastest pitch, which is a sinker, which makes us so much earlier on everything else. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. On to France. But I do, I do have a little bit of that, like, the, a little bit of worry in the back of my head where I go, like, I keep looking low and he keeps throwing high and I'm not committing to it the way that I probably should be. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Whips it across and a couple of so quick Wentz outs. is not a strikeout pitcher. All five outs by the right fielder. Um, like via contact, I guess. I don't know how you would. I don't know how you would say that. In there for strike one. Slow roller to first. France takes it to the bag. That's the inning. Nothing doing there for the A's. We'll move to the okay. third. Slow no it down. Score. Rodriguez, Crawford, France. They are coming up. See if we can get a couple of runs on the board here. Top three. It's still early. Nothing to be too... Too panicked about. I think it's Top fair to be maybe in, a touch irritated uh, with uh, some of the, the I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, decision making. You feel like he could thrive in one of those sports approaches. Too. Blackburn back to work on the ground like that. The that's a terrible approach. It's very early again. I Gathers just and throws to I've like I've set my Rodriguez timing for everything and it's wrong and I can't. And up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. I can't get out of it. Bats left, throws right, hitting third in the lineup, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. Line yeah. drive, base hit. Problem is I'm being rewarded for it with five hits so far through two and a third. The first base hit, number 23. So now it's the like, I feel like I'm seeing what he Time wants to do. He struck out swinging his just first hit back.
Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Brown calls it in two away. The throw is wild and it gets away. And now Teoscar Hernandez grounded out his first time up. Okay, we need base, but he's got it to end the inning. One left for Seattle, uh, and we gotta are stop still having scoreless. innings like that. Oh my God, that was like what four pitches, five pitches. That's really bad, really, really bad. As we go to the last of the third, striding to the plate now for Oakland, Shea Langoliers. Check swing. No appeal. And that's ball one. Wentz, a tall lefty, 25 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. Two balls, no strikes to count. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Fouled off. He was late. Swing and a ball popped up, and it stays fair. Nice run there by Teoscar. Good route. Nice Make sure that that doesn't bop over my head. Into a good count. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. At the play, Zach Gellar. Hernandez quickly throws it in. Runner holds it second, but they've got something going on here. It didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now the lefty, he swings and fouls one off. That, that was not where I Lengeliers. wanted that cutter. At second, Gelaw. At first with no outs. In the air on the infield, and the infield fly is called. Almost goofed it up. Almost goofed that up. Um, hmm. Two on, one out. Digging in for Oakland, Denzel Clark. That That's a bad fastball. It's a bad one. fastball. So, so early. Play ball in this spot. So no early. Way to get out of this inning. Ground ball could be two. And no throw. I don't know what He's happened. First easily. And like it did, it did the same thing yesterday. Let me stay as now. Oh, for one so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. But I that's think right. ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate, so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Mm. The O2. Foul off the plate. <laughs> Damn it, I got the swing I was looking for. I just wanted the miss. In the air, left field. Mateo has a beat on it. Squeezes it. Here comes the runner from third. And they strike first huh. as they take a one So we should be out of this inning. A misplay by Hernandez and a misplay by Suarez. You can put in the air. Worst um, case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Brown I got what I was looking for. I wanted a swing time. on it. I was kind of hoping another, you know, another... Swing and a miss. Up and in. Two balls, no strikes. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Hernandez it must have been the, it, makes the, grab the and that's the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Hmm. Three Not a great complete. inning defensively. And again, and like I held Mariners trying nothing. or trying. I held Y. And then I watched the thing moved, and then I went to let go, and it thought I pushed it again, so Back it just took away the took away the throw. I was looking to turn two and get out of that inning, but I just couldn't get the get the controller to cooperate. And this is why, like, I don't really love when he's on the mound. We have not gotten a strikeout yet, and this one could be extra bases. And that's super frustrating, honestly. Like it's. Safe we, I mean, if we have a strikeout, it's like one. But everything's contact. I just can't get the swings and misses. And I'm not consistent enough with him to 
avoid mistakes. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. He hit into a double play his first time up. That's ripped into the outfield. And that one hops the wall. Okay. So we'll get the run the back run immediately. Second. We're tied at one. Gotta Save. stop swinging at the first pitch. We got a solid back. swing from start to end on time with everything really good balance nice extension. We could turn it into uh, a maybe a bit of a bullpen off. game Colton Wong interestingly enough Kind of held up there in between second and third for a second Go ahead run on base Cal Raleigh up next We're starting to get Mariners. the timing down on his Single stuff a little bit and I'm committing to the low part of in the zone I would need to take that pitch right there, but it's good to just kind of Take a breath here. He had about 30 pitches going into the top half of the third, and he is at 36. Here comes a pitch. Oh, Sean, no. Way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. Was my wrist and my hand. And no, no, no. Stay at third, stay at third, stay at third. Stay at third. Stop side stay at third. goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Really nice oh, job of two yeah. strike hitting in that at bat. 932 million. Pitch recognition was on. Two, uh, 129,960. Next is the designated hitter, Taylor Trammell. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. It should have been a strikeout. I hit A so hard. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Throw is high and over his head. He scores all the way from first. A terrible job getting it back to the infield and it costs them a run. <laughs> you see the you see the umpire like step into frame. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> this is really funny. There's just like a big old smile on his face. It's like, I, yeah, I'm umping. Now, Jorge Mateo. That's bad. That's bad. Settle down. Makes the play. One down. I shouldn't have swung there. Too much of an auto swing and mode here, you know. Julio getting that Rodriguez. good flow going. That one fouled hard the other way. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. To first, Rodriguez out of the play. the runner. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Now we'll bullet to second oh. base, but he's got it. That's like the best in. piece of contact, but, but that's the best. Ah, oh, it's a perfect, two perfect to an out. Two Fuck two off. Double. Nine this hits. Is now a three, one ball game. Actually, a little You're surprised that they did the not pull the pitcher. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a new pitcher in the top of the fifth, but I'm a little surprised that we put a couple of like really good swings on. We scored those two or those three runs, excuse me, with nobody out. And you feel like, oh man, we just kind of pull them, but they might not have the bullpen for it. So I don't know. The pitch. Aguilar. That's in there. Going one. Not terrible. After putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning. Jeez, get the Louise. Oh, God. The catch. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. I mean, it's a you bad location right, on the right circle there. change. Show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good. Does he have a strikeout? Bat. Garcia. That. I forgot that I was gonna look at stats. Uh, game log? No, that's not what we want. Stats. Box score. Yeah, no strikeouts. Oh, God. Down, takes a strike. Oh, that's so bad. That's not what I'm looking for. Because the thing is, like, I don't, like, we don't have to throw 20 strikeouts a game or whatever, you know? Like, we don't have to do that. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. 
He's mixing his pitches really well. Just on that like that even being a threat to throw a strikeout would be great. One. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. That one down the line, and that's just foul. The 0-2. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, oh my God. And it gets by him. I don't know why it gave me Colton Long. I, I, oh man. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Fuck, we can't get a strike out of him. And it's so gone. irritating. Next up for the A's, Lawrence Butler. And that's in there for strike one. I mean, that's. Swings through that one. 14 to 7. In the fourth? Oh, what now. is happening? Out towards right All right, I'm gonna have to, we're going to have to take a look at the box score for the Diamondbacks the Giants game. That was 14 to 7 in the fourth inning. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you guys y'all you guys, you okay? <laughs> what? And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And there's the strike. I don't know what happened on that hit Garcia, up the middle. The um, I just, I didn't gone. anticipate. I didn't anticipate. Oh, that's, uh, that's a bad throw. Bad throw, throw bad throw. Stops the lead runner at second. Two didn't anticipate it giving me Colton Wong. I don't really know why. I guess I kind of just, it, it, it's a 50-50. I just didn't take enough time to slow down and go like, okay. Because right as I was like, okay, what is happening? Stop throwing four seams over the goddamn heart of the plate. Motherfucker. God. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. And a pop up. Right Why? Side. Why did that give me Wentz? What and the fuck are you it. doing? That's twice. A couple, that doesn't make any sense. Why would that be Wentz? Three to one. Oh my goodness. It's a 50-50 going up the middle like that. Welcome back. And right, right now, as I was like, oh, gonna, so gonna get Mariners Crawford here, it was like, I nope, France. you're in control of Colton Wong. And I watched him run the right way and then just walk the other way. I was like, well. And a pitch. Fast that hurt. For a strike. <laughs> it's 0-1. Um, all right. Blackburn's still on the mound here. And that one ripped to left. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. That play looks routine defensively. Got out a little a quick a, there. A little no, it can get real tricky <laughs> down in the corner. Kept it to a long single. Nice defensive play. Um, I think that's a combination where it's like the ball got, felt like it got out real Here's quick into kind of like Hernandez. a shorter part of the field. And France is like just not the fastest guy. There we go. This is what we're looking for. 68 power. He circles the bases, his 28th home run of the season, and they add a pair. It's 5-1. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it. I, I can't get rewarded for this behavior. I can't get rewarded for swinging at every fucking first pitch that they throw. Just going like, I'm going to mash it. I'm going to fucking mash it. I'm going to mash it. Colton Wong up to him. Ball Look at that. What a take. What a great take right, right there. Big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. What? He puts it in his pocket. Please. Safe at first please, without a play. Please stop rewarding. Okay. Alumnus <laughs> Diaz was clutching in his midsection. Damn. And here comes Mark Kotze. Look, well, here's the good news. Make a change and go to the bullpen. It Colton wasn't on Colton Wong. For the day, and as he Colton for the Wong, while he was jogging to first break. base, New arm on the mound did a cartwheel and broke both of his wrists. <laughs> 
can see in the news that the Blue Jays increased their lead to three games over the Yankees. That means they're going to they have a split in that three-game series at the moment. Keep an eye on the Rays down there in the box score if you're or in the ticker. That's what it's called. I could not think of the word. Uh, Chase Peterson coming into the game now is the injury replacement. If they see if that AL East can get uh, can get a little chaotic. Because what needs to happen? 95 on a fastball, 88 on a slider. Change up at 84 and a two seam at 94. We'll see if he goes up in the zone here. Bounce to the right side, and that one finds its way through. Stop. Please stop. Please stop rewarding me. First and second with nobody out. Tampa Bay. Looks like they're, they're tied there. Came out and started. We are early. It's 1230 when this game starts. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Okay, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused on everything. First pitch, not anyway, close. if not the Toronto thing. wins the when Blue Jays, guy, or if Toronto wins, no, the Devil the Rays need to win. Tampa Bay needs to win. And kind of match them. Inning, Tampa Bay and Toronto play a lot of games in the last little pitch. bit of the season. I think the we AL East could actually be really interesting to watch going down the stretch. Swing. Because he's got so much power, pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Way back there. And that is gone. It's gone. Three run home run, Cal Raleigh. His 24th home run of the season. And they tack on. It's bad three. to have a day it's off tomorrow. One. I was like, why the hell are they standing at second? And then I was like, oh, it's going over the fence. Why not watch it? A little show going. You're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off. Balance. This is gonna lead to such a bad game against Texas. <laughs> Just such a bad game. We are creeping up the veteran difficulty level, like we, like we're a good team. That's a good take right there inside. Right-handed reliever. That one ripped. Hits the fence. God damn it. That's a fucking home run robbed by that stupid piece of, of fence day. out there. He's had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the left fielder, Jorge Mateo. Now fly ball to right center. Clark makes a move towards the gap. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Now batting, the center fielder. There's still nobody out. At least if we were at home, we wouldn't have to play the, next for the Mariners. bottom half of the ninth, but we're on the road. Deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ooh, oh, 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 I wanted that one. Damn it. Trammell on third. Mateo with a change on up. first with nobody out. Do you get uh, bumped up in the hitting difficulty? Pitch it's a good misses, take right there. And the count is one and one. And that one is in for a strike. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. He can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. And now it's even up. Three balls, two strikes. Ooh. Fudge. Man, I feel bad with Julio here. Two oh for four. Out. And now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. That one lifted to left, Brown. Sizing this one up, grabs it on the run. Runner tags for home. The tag, and that's out number that's three, right. inning that's over. Right. That was me getting real greedy. Play at the plate, trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. 16 hits. Oh, my Lanta. At some point, you got to kind of end with the... End of the fun, you know? Obviously, a terrible send. You don't want to do that in any sort of other situation when instead when you're leading by seven. 
you know? And welcome back. Um, the 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 I thought maybe I'd have a shot at getting in there. The wind and the pitch. God, fucking damn it. Clearly down in this I mean, I am game, just throwing so many first pitches over the heart of the goddamn plate. Time, Stop. Shrink it down smaller. Pitch Thank you, pitch. Suarez. That guy on the I'm, I'm sure, again, Denzel right over, yep. Up next for the A's. I guess the, the so the question I think for me is starting to become: Do we put Chris Flexen in the lineup? Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Is is this a Flexen sort of thing? So I think he has the stamina to do it. And now one and, and even two. if he's like the low stamina guy, if we put him maybe before a day off, if things get a little wild, we can bullpen game it and kind of oh, work from the there. Doesn't get the call. Damn. Two and two. Oh my Back god. Up the middle and a base hit. That's the problem without being able to induce those swings and misses. It's just too many pitches for me to make a mistake like that. That's another four-seam fastball right over the heart of the plate. Like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Foul ball. Oh, and two now. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Makes the grab for the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Seth Brown. That one's in there. Old when was the last time, if ever, this season that we had Brown a starter right not get a strikeout? Over to first, third out. We are, we are through frame. five innings, and he, he does not have a strikeout. One. It's still an eight. One ball I don't. Game. I don't even know. Like the last time wins pitched. If he went 0 for strikeouts, you know what I mean? Like back here in the East Bay, new inning getting started. Okay. And now so we did get bumped up to Mariners. veteran plus here, so we need to be a little more Hoagland back to work. Selective. Checks that is not being selective. Hoagland, 23 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. That's down and in. The two one. Hard Ooh. Hit, right him perfect, Man, perfect, but just right to him. That's what we've been so used to seeing over the last week or so. Hernandez stands in now and watches strike Astros one. losing to the Orioles in the eighth. They that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through. The middle of the field. And now here Ooh, is got me with a change up. Hernandez leads off first with one away. Liner stayed at first. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Well, didn't do everything right there Suarez. just early on the, up next for the, the timing. Close one doesn't get the call. 1 and 0. Suarez, 31 years old, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. Next pitch is downstairs. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Can't get there. Base hit. Hernandez around third. Peterson with a relay home. Ooh. Not in time. He scores. Yeah, a little aggressive there. And it's an eight run lead. Kind of a Comes like fuck it send, line. you know. He drove that ball very well out to the deep part of the field. And 
You may be surprised he didn't get a double out of it, but I'll tell you, they did a great job of getting that ball back into the infield right away, and it might have been the right call to hold him at first. New pitcher now, Dalton Jeffries. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work. Two seam on a 95 him. mile an hour. 95 on a two seam. I said that backwards. That threw me off. 88 on a circle change. Uh, 92 on a cutter. 95 on a four seam. 83 now, on a 12 seam. Cal Raleigh. That misses the zone. Ball one. Plenty of offense to this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this um, but yeah you definitely expected to see some offense coming up in the year left field, on that one. Brown under it and that is the third. Well, we put one more on. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the M's nine and the A's one. Well, we go bottom six. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Jesus Aguilar. The pitch. Aguilar. There's a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead oh, of trying to goodness. be too fine and have too much finesse. So early. And get quick outs. Way out front for strike two. And a pop-up, right side. Foul yeah, see, that one was for Raleigh. And there's one down. What? Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look now really that good that coming that in, but it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Digging in for Oakland, Dermis Garcia. Pitch misses inside, ball one. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. On the ground. Wong to first. Two up, two down. Now batting, right fielder. Now here is Lawrence Butler. Butler. And first offering is fouled off. Butler goes six feet, three inches, 210 pounds, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2018. Oh Goodness. Right side. Six innings On and not defense. a single strikeout. A one, two, three Unbelievable. Inning. And the A's are gone in order. Might try to they push him through big. seven it's here. 9 -1. 18 hits for the Mariners. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Taylor Trammell. The Y to kick the pitch. That misses. Ooh. And it's one to no. That was a really the nice cutter. Oh, fuck. Appears to be getting loose. Mole getting cranked up as well. That's through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. I just I couldn't, for whatever reason, hit the button there. Foul ball okay. left side. He'll Foul see off. Very nine. late, but that'll, that'll work. Righty delivers. And now two and two. That one missed. Good take here. Good job here by on on my half, on my part to uh, to slow down. We're looking at. Pitch number seven of this at bat. Font that one off. Everything we've swung at has been in the zone. Generous call on pitch right number one. Kicks deals. Good plate there appearance go. there. Draw a walk. Able okay. Take the walk. What a That's what we're looking it's for. Not easy laying off a three, two, Don't want to just come out here. The pitching or the hitting difficulty goes up. So the lineup flips over. And all of a sudden, and it's strike out this, strike out that. Mateo. 
We've driven in a run. Because we're like some bad luck away from... Ooh! We're, we're like a little bit of bad luck from this being like a much closer Lead game, right? Second, so just so many hits that we're able to find just the just holes, just seeing eye grounders and Don't stuff like that phrase, that we have not been getting the benefit through, of lately. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Stepping in, Julio Ooh. Rodriguez. Had the right idea, but I dropped them. Trammell over at second. Mateo at first with no outs. Drop that PCI a little too low. Out towards left center. That is not what we are looking Brown for. Brown drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tags up for third. And now a wide throw to third. 0 for 5 with Rodriguez today. Not what two we are looking for. Out. Now Crawford's two JP for four. Crawford. Just under it. Just under it. I thought with righty versus righty, I thought he would throw a little more low and away. That one hooked foul. First and third, one down. And there's oh. a ball. And a base hit knocks in a run. Okay, that's good. Right there, that's good. I mean, Rodriguez advanced him over. Man, able to drive there. him in. First and second, one out. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base. I Mateo wanted a little more with on. that. He'll score easily, and it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. Yeah, Everything that, came together right for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field, so that definitely felt good. And now the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And the pitch. This to third, and that's a fair ball. Crawford around third. He will score, and they extend their lead. Puts a run on the board and picks now we're up having some RBI. fun. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's gonna find some. This is what I'd like to see more of. We only have, I think, one home run. Maybe two. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And stepping in for the Mariners. Lefty, lefty. Sinker, 93. Slider, 85. Four seam, 96. Circle change, 86. Fouls one off out of play. That's bad aggression right there. Obviously, very early. And now the 01 in the air right field. And foul. It no. Get there. It's a foul ball. Damn it. The 02. One ball. Two straight. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. Butler puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags from third. Oh my god. I forgot it was Ty France. Oh, I forgot it was Ty France. It was a bad throw, and we still got thrown out because he was able to uh -huh. It's the Mariners 12 and the A's. I was look I looked at the wrong thing. I looked at the 74 Oakland, speed at second and was like, oh yeah, sure. Tag up. I completely forgot about Ty France. Hit. 
Well, we can push Wentz as far as we can go. There's a strike. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Next offering upstairs. Oh, Pretty standard my high goodness. O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, they'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the His dirt. first strikeout Struck of the day. Out swinging. Snuck the fastball by him. Really love now the pitch that, sequence that, right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher yeah. on the same page right now. Gelov oh. in now. Takes ball one off the plate. That one fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, well, just threw that fastball by him. Had to double check the count there. Almost threw my hands up again for front of the strikeout. To to, especially with that velocity. Liner picked on the hop at first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting second baseman. Tyler Wade. Tyler Wade up next for the A's. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Rodriguez makes the catch. And that will end the inning. And okay. one, two, three, go the A's. Suarez, They're Rowling, looking up Trammell at a 12 coming up here. deficit. We go to the eighth. And now for Seattle, Seattle. Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio And he deals. And ball one. 13,000 on a Wednesday afternoon in Oakland. That misses the zone. And that's ball two. The pitch. That one's spoiled. And the count now two and one. Swung on, belted. That one's back. Go! Oh, it's gone. It's gone. His 33rd homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 13-1. That's their Wait, third I think it's the home third? run of the game. Okay, third home run of the game. A lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And the batter now, Cal Raleigh. He's already homered here in this one. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Thought he might get to that. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And here is Taylor Trammell. Grab Ooh, that's first. a bad swing. Could be two. That's Seven, a bad swing. One. Way oh, too much aggression the there. The sinker was on the inside yeah, of the plate. It's not, not what you're looking the for. The there is a part where of me that's kind of like, I need to cool off. To We're going to get put into all-star, and then I am going to be super screwed on Friday. Really good job all the way around. Swing at a ball popped up. Uh, Peterson moving under. I was just looking in the middle of the plate. I just needed, or the middle of the cell, I needed to bump it up just the a Mariners little. The Mariners pick up a run thanks to this it's solo all right. homer. It's all right. Home half We're, it's that thing. Straight ahead. 24 hits. You're watching Mariners it's sliding the show into Northwest. that that habit, that rhythm that we see out of me of like, Welcome oh, hey, it's like a good at-bat. At and then we get another piece of hitting and then it's a double play and a one pitch 
a one pitch at bat. It's like, oh no, pitch. this is not. That's a little bit. That's low not what you want to see. I still don't have anybody up in the bullpen. There's no reason to try and push him to get a complete game. Better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. Now the throw to first on the run. And that's what a throw. As the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now it's Chase Peterson. Peterson. He popped out his first time. In the air to left down the line. Pulls it in on the run. Now and there's two away. The left fielder. Here's the left fielder, Seth Brown. That's in there. Strike one. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Swing and a bouncer. Flips it behind his back. And he's uh, it's just over. I ran it's that incorrectly. I'm find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done. Just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. That one's in there. And the count one and one. And he takes a strike. Brown off of first with two away. He goes down looking. Really? With this pitcher? With that at bat? Or that batter, I should say? That's how it ends? What? Back here in the East Bay. Hey, all set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Sneed back to work. Swing and a foul over Too the aggressive. screen and back out of play. Sneed, 28 years old, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2016. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. High fly ball, right Man, field. For six with settles Julio. underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Used the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Sinker just didn't get low. Out Ooh, front that's a slide. And that is strike one. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. On the ground to first. And he handles it yep, himself for the out. Back to back on the sliders. Empty. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. First That's offering ball. and it just misses. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first, <laughs> and that is that. Three up, three down. Want to have a good, there. have a good flow, have a good feel going to into the, the, bottom of the night. weekend series. The Mariners lead it thirteen to one. We're long. doing fine. Back here at the ballpark, so yeah, bottom of the Maybe try and get him a the third game baseman, here. Dermis Garcia. Strike oh. one. Bounced out to short. Crawford fires to first on the run. Low throw, and he can't take it out. And at first, now here is Lawrence Butler. And fouled off. Rudder at first with no outs here. There's a strike. 
It's just not what we're looking for. Ground ball right side could be two. Wong to second. Now to first, and it's a double ooh, play. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We actually got him. Holy shit. You don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Langoliers in the box There's with no two way gone. Wentz it should be the player of the game, strike. but he might be for the complete game. Up the middle, and it gets by him. Now that Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came oh, from, oh. and there was just no one there to knock it down. Gellar. Now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Oh, Next oh, offering is foul oh, oh, that was the not, closing in on that was not the fastball I wanted. And he'll two. God, I'm looking. It is the and most surprising the way we finished that game with a strike. Like kind of a snoozer. And if I'm being honest, we crushed the Oakland All Athletics in a way that a we have not seen this victory, offense explode in a job. long time. I think that's the most runs we scored all season down. long. Um, one T4 hits. A couple of errors on the Mariners. One of them was absolutely my fault. The other one was just, we saw something similar where it looked like I had it. And then for whatever reason, the game just kind of thought I double pressed the button and it just didn't didn't throw the ball so it's no big deal hey this is technically a come from behind victory which is kind of absurd we <laughs> fell behind by one and I was super happy to get that one run back because I felt like we got the one run back we piled on a couple of more a couple more runs you go like okay offensively we're not doing it defensively like how far am I willing to go with uh, Joey Wentz but some really bad highlights here. What is happening? This may be the worst highlight package we've ever seen. <laughs> it didn't even swing the ball. What? Or swing the bat? 24 hits, 13 runs, a couple of errors. Uh, Teoscar Hernandez, your player of the game, three for five with a home run, a double knocked home, three runs scored twice. Suarez was four for five, a home run, a double, three ribbies, three runs. Cal Raleigh, four for five with a home run, three ribbies, two runs. Taylor Trammell, two for three, two doubles, two ribbies, and a run. Whew. Joey Wentz gets your win, nine innings pitched, eight hits, three strikeouts, no walks, no earned. Paul Blackburn gave up six in four innings pitched, give, uh, in addition to 12 hits, two strikeouts, one earned. Or one walk, excuse me. Um, look at that. Three in the fourth. Got that run back immediately. Five in the fifth. One in the sixth. Three in the seventh. One in the eighth. That is what I like to see. It doesn't always have to be those numbers. You don't have to be blowing people out by 12. That's fine. I can, I can handle that. What is so nice about it is being able to score in a bunch of different innings. We've seen in this series where it's kind of like, here's the one big splash. Here's four here. Here's, I forget exactly what the... The, the game in the first one was, but we're getting big splash innings and not doing a whole lot outside of it. I love the games where we can put on, you know, there was one, I forget exactly which game it was. Maybe the Tampa Bay game, maybe the Los Angeles game. There was one where we were at home. Uh, so it wasn't the Tampa Bay game, but we scored in six of the eight times we were at bat uh, or up to bat. And I, it must have been the Los Angeles game, 8-3, to because it was fairly recent, if I remember correctly. Um, that is what I want to see. That's what I want. It, again, doesn't have to be 8. doesn't have to be 6, 4, 8, 8 runs. You know, that's the whole thing. Just a consistency in the scoring. One here, one there. You know, maybe it's a 5. Maybe we look at, you know, this Oakland 5-1 victory, but we're scoring one runs in the innings. The New York Mets game that I'm covering, that's like right there we had four runs in four consecutive innings pretty nice uh the operation failed which is uh not good it's been better but still not great uh a third 13 to 1 victory is uh kind of makes up for the 13 to 2 loss that we took the lumps in it does topple our best which was 12 nothing against chicago and that was a real weird game Ooh. Ooh, pardon me. Uh, let's see. Nine, nothing against Houston. 
We scored eight in a loss to Oakland, which was weird. But we don't. Oh, 12-1 against Houston. 12-3 against Chicago. So we had, we had done 12 runs three times. A couple of 10 nothing victories, weirdly, in the month of April. 10 nothing against Colorado. 10 nothing against St. Louis. Um... Yeah, and that uh, that'll that'll do it for today's game. Oh, I did want to check. We're gonna check the calendar, and we're gonna check today's games. And we want to look at the really wonky one. Nineteen to eleven. Six in the first. What? Six in the first. Nothing in the four. Four. One one three two one zero one three. They scored in the first seven innings. Wow. So it was it was 10-4 after the second? 11-5? 14? I guess where we saw it was 14-7. to seven. So they piled out another five runs. Another four runs. Wow, what a... Wild, and then you have like this Colorado San Diego game. It's like one nothing, and they scored in the first inning. Man, thirteen. We didn't even score the most runs of the day. <laughs> we got bested by the San Francisco Giants. Oh man, that's that is fun. Let's go ahead and um, you know what? We're gonna actually probably just have to call it there because it, it's probably gonna fail. It's probably going to crash when I try to do the, uh, what's it called? So, we will catch you up on playoff standings if you want uh, on Friday. We'll be taking on John Gray in Texas, the final away set of games this season. John Gray is 11-4 with 142 innings pitched. He has a 3.79 ERA. Logan Gilbert looks to get to win number 20. He is 19-4 with a 2.30 ERA and 180 innings. Uh, we'll have... Gilbert, Ray, Kirby, and then Castillo can pick up his 20th against Houston or against Texas. So there you have it. Hey, thanks again, or thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and it's maybe a little bit of a snoozer. Some, uh, some decisions that probably didn't make a whole lot of sense, but I just, I genuinely forgot about <laughs> Ty France. Okay. Uh, but Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed more Baseball Friday. Tomorrow we'll be taking a look at the TGS Tokyo Game Show Xbox conference in the evening. So if you would like to watch that, check that out. Or we'll see you Friday for the series against the Houston Rangers. Nope, the Texas Rangers. That's who we're playing. Um, thanks again for watching. Subscribe. Ring the bell for more videos. Good sports. Go Mariners. think I got everything. What a weird win. What a good one. Goodbye.